Boy opens his eyes and peeps a bunch of cute maids all hyped to see him. His first instinct is to cast a fireball and roast them all, but right before he goes for it, he notices his hands all tiny. That little distraction messes up his aim, so instead of taking out a maid, he blows a hole through the castle walls. Luckily because there was a fireworks show happening, his blast didn't trigger a terror alert in the kingdom. Peeps are celebrating the birth of Prince Lloyd while inside the castle, but the maids start thinking about switching careers before they get turned to ash by this trigger-happy baby. Some time passes and the maids decide to keep their jobs, but they make sure to update their life insurance policy first. Right now, they are searching all over for Prince Lloyd, but as soon as they leave, Lloyd pops out from behind a pillar. He want to dip from here so they don't find him, but as he tries to leave, he bumps into some officials. He asks them not to snitch to the maids about him being here, and they are cool with it. One of them asks if Lloyd want to join them for some hunting to kill time. Unfortunately, he is pretty busy right now, so he ignores the offer and just runs off to do his own thing. The officials feel kinda down because Lloyd turned them down again, but the other dude wonders why they are even trying to befriend the kid since he is too young to contest for the crown. Plus, he's just the seventh prince, so being friends with him ain't gonna give them no political advantage. To this, the first official has one thing to say. The kid could blow up a castle on the day he was born, and I don't think he needs another reason to stay on friendly terms with him. I wouldn't be surprised if Lloyd the reincarnation of the father of sorcery, but that's just speculation. Now back to Lloyd, he is really a reincarnation, but in his past life, he was just a regular sorcerer. He doesn't know why he remembers his past life, why he was reborn as a prince, or who thought it was a good idea for him to rock this outfit. One thing he is sure about is that since he got the freedom to do it, he gonna live the same way he did before and spend his time researching all sorts of dope magic. He was fascinated by the massive library in the castle, thinking it was even better than the one he had in his past life. But right before he can crack open a book and get his read on, a maid comes through and straight up smashes it away. Silpha finally found him, so he can't skip his lessons anymore like he used to. Outside, Lloyd gotta go through some sword practice with Silpha, and she is showing no mercy against this eight-year-old, but he holds his own. Lloyd doesn't see why he gotta go through all this training when he's way down the line and ain't got a shot at the royal throne. But Silpha hit back saying life ain't just about gaining power in the fam. As a member of the royal crew, he gotta be educated in all kinds of stuff. She has been in charge of his education for three years, so she's going to take her job very seriously and make sure he learns. Lloyd ain't feeling how strict and serious Silpha is, but he knows she ain't letting him off the hook until he shows some improvement. She tells him to get back in stance, and they clash swords again. But this time, Lloyd matched Silpha's moves like Zoro. She was impressed by how much he had improved because she saw him getting better. But Lloyd thinks to himself that he is cheating with this thing called control-type magic, copying her moves exactly. In other words, he is cheating on his swordsmanship exam. But even with him copying her, he was still just an 8-year-old with a smaller build, so she was stronger, taller, and had more reach. He gotta find a way to make up for their differences because they are putting him at a major disadvantage. So he comes up with a genius plan. He gonna cheat some more. He cast a spell to make his wooden sword longer, another one to make him physically stronger, as well as one to make him levitate. Now he can go toe to toe with Silpha on the same level. Eventually, when he spots an opportunity, he switches up his tactics and stops copying her moves in the middle of his attacks. This throws her off guard, and he plans to take advantage of that to strike. However, she's still an extremely skilled swordswoman, so she was able to block his strike. She calls him out on cheating, and Lloyd is straight up scared he busted. She figured he did it to even the playing field because he ain't match up to her skill level. And you know what? She was actually impressed by it. That meant he was using two spells at once, and even the palace mages found that hard to pull off. It's some next level stuff. Lloyd was just relieved she ain't yelling at him for using magic, but he kept quiet about the fact he was actually using four spells instead of just two. Later on, it's bath time for Lloyd. But damn, he gotta sit in Silpha's lap in the maid's bathroom. It's either unfortunate or fortunate, depending on how you look at it. He feels super embarrassed about the whole situation, but Silpha ain't letting him leave and wash himself because last time, he didn't even shower and spent all his time reading instead. 
My guy just wanted to read some books, but he was stuck there with a whole bunch of maids, not knowing what to do. One of the other maids warns him that if he doesn't behave himself, then he'll be taken by the demon of the forbidden library. Lloyd had never even heard about this forbidden library or the demon in it, so the girls filled him in on the whole deal. Long ago, the kingdom of Saloum was almost wiped out completely. But after a whole bunch of mages made sacrifices, they managed to seal the demon inside a damn book. They called that demon Grimoire, and he was supposedly sealed away in the castle's forbidden library. Silpha doesn't buy into that story though, she tells Lloyd it's all nonsense, and he ain't gotta be scared of something so dumb. However, Lloyd is fighting his own demons after being surrounded by so many girls in the bath, so he can't bring himself to look them in the eye. They misunderstand his situation and think he is actually scared of their story, so they offer him a spot in their beds tonight if he feels like it. Lloyd manages to dip out while they argue over who gets to chill with him, and now that he knows about this forbidden library, he can't just ignore it. That night, Lloyd sneaks through the castle halls until he finds the corridor leading to the Forbidden Library. Then he straight up casts an air spell on himself to hide his presence. It messes with the air density around him and makes light bend, making him practically invisible. One of the guards is about to pass out, but the other tells him to stay awake because they are supposed to be guarding some magic that could wreck the whole kingdom if it falls into the wrong hands plus a sealed demon. Meanwhile, Lloyd just strolls past them while they brag about being top-notch guards. They definitely getting fired after this, aren't they? There was still a second layer of protection in place to stop people from getting into the library though. It's a seal cast by ten powerful mages using their strongest magic, so there should be no way anyone is getting through that. Well it didn't take much for him to get through it, so I guess the mages are getting fired as well. Once Lloyd was up in that library, he was straight up amazed because he had been living here his whole life and never even knew about this place. He starts checking out all them interesting books, but he reminds himself he gotta put that barrier back so folks don't lose their jobs because of him. Just then, he sees a book fly out from a pile, and boom out comes the demon Grimoire. Grimoire is impressed that a young kid like Lloyd managed to break the seal on the library door, so he tries to persuade him to unseal him too. But even if Lloyd doesn't, that seal on Grimoire is about to crumble on its own because it has been degrading over time. Grimoire is trying to tempt Lloyd with some gold nuggets, but Lloyd ain't fooled by his words. That gold was made from creation magic, and on top of that, Grimoire did a really crappy job making it. Lloyd straight up tells Grimoire he gonna redo that seal once he is done here. The kingdom has too many books he gotta read, so he can't let some fool like Grimoire ruin it all. Grimoire keeps trying to convince him by promising he won't wreck the kingdom, but Lloyd ain't falling for it. As a last-ditch effort, Grimoire says he gonna teach Lloyd some ancient magic if he lets him go. Lloyd is ready to throw the whole kingdom under the bus if it means he can learn more magic. He asked if Grimoire would really teach him some ancient magic, and realizing he's got the kid hooked, Grimoire told him that he definitely would. He is trying to butter Lloyd up by saying he must be mad talented with sorcery. That brings back some painful memories from Lloyd's past life when folks rejected him because he ain't have any magical skills. But that all changed now that he is rocking the body of a royal family member. He whip up a magic key and use it to wreck the book that was holding Grimoire. Once he is free, Grimoire can't even believe Lloyd really destroyed the seal just like that. Lloyd is still pumped to get his ancient magic lesson, so he asks Grimoire to get it going. Grimoire takes a good look at him and straight up throws a ball of purple fire at him, calling it Lesson 1. He thinks that's gotta be the end of Lloyd, so he is about to bounce and go wreck the world or something. But then Lloyd pops out from the smoke, completely unharmed. Grimoire can't even believe Lloyd is still kicking after taking a direct hit from his spell, and Lloyd is praising it for being so damn unique. Our boy would love to see some more and Grimoire just can't accept that Lloyd survived so he starts firing off many more spells at him. However, not a single one manages to break through the barrier around Lloyd. Grimoire is straight up confused about how this barrier is so damn powerful. Lloyd watches in awe as he analyzes the spell, but even though he knows it might straight up kill him, he want to know what it feels like to take that attack head on. Lloyd opens up a hole in the barrier and takes a bit of that purple fire, shocking Grimoire to the core. It burns his finger really bad, but he seems to enjoy it. And that's when we realize Lloyd has some serious issues going on in his head. 
He tells Grimoire to show him something else, and not wanting to lose to a kid, pulls out his trump card and levels up his second spell, so he can dual cast his magic. And even though that should straight up annihilate anyone who ain't the main character, Grimoire is getting worse matchups than before. When Grimoire peeps that Lloyd effortlessly cancels out his most powerful spell, he gets the message that he can't handle this kid in a fight. So he tries to get away from him as fast as possible. But just as Grimoire was about to dip, he straight up crashed into the barrier Lloyd set up beforehand. The castle above the library, so Lloyd doesn't want anybody to find out about his secret mission down there. Grimoire asks if Lloyd thinks he is trying to make a run for it, but that ain't it. A long time ago, Lloyd made this mistake that jacked up everyone's life insurance, so he was always extra cautious when he used magic. He even put up barriers around all them books, so they don't get burned up. But right when Grimoire was about to throw another magic spell, Lloyd shut him down and said he had seen enough of that one already. Now he wanna peep at what kinda of defensive magic Grimoire has, so he hit him with one of his own attack spells. It's safe to say Grimoire ain't about to enjoy this, and after the blast has ended, we see him lying on the floor as a defeated demon. Lloyd stroll up to him and asks why he ain't used no barrier to defend himself, but the truth is, ain't nothing Grimoire could do to save himself from that attack. After that, Lloyd whips up some magic to restore the room to its normal state, and Grimoire is straight up tamed from his encounter with Lloyd. He tells Lloyd he an amazing mage, but Lloyd thinks he is the amazing one. Turns out demons can't be killed by magic, even though it still hurts like hell. Lloyd is curious about how much punishment Grimoire can take since he is supposedly immune to magical damage. But Grimoire ain't trying to agree to that, so he swears his undying loyalty to Lloyd on the condition that he doesn't torture him. Lloyd agrees to take him on as a familiar, but torture will still be involved, only slightly though. He tells Grimoire to transform so he doesn't scare people with his appearance. So Grimoire turns into this cute-looking chibi goat and plans to butter Lloyd up so he can take control of his body. But when Grimoire tries to do that, he ends up staring into the abyss that is Lloyd's mana reserves. That makes it crystal clear to him that nothing he tries against this kid gonna work, so he's better off just being obedient and staying out of trouble. With all that settled, Lloyd bounced to enjoy reading in the Forbidden Library as much as he damn well pleases. A little later, we peep this fancy dude getting ready for his day and strolling through his mansion. In the library, Grimoire warns Lloyd that someone's coming, Lloyd tells him to hide, and we discover that he is the noble Prince Albert. Albert straight up shows off his power, blowing everyone's minds when he hits the target dead on with his magic. Albert's the second prince of the Saloon Kingdom. He's a damn genius at everything, and folks think he'll be the next king for sure. Albert's got special access to places like this, and sometimes he invites Lloyd to tag along. Lloyd can't really use much of his magic in the castle, so he appreciates it when Albert takes him to the range. Next up, it's Lloyd's turn to show off, but he ain't looking to impress nobody. He ain't interested in the throne, so he don't need to prove shit. Plus, if he revealed his true power, he'd get mixed up in all the power struggles between the princes. Lloyd hates that idea cause all he wants is to study sorcery and live in peace. Grimoire wonders what Lloyd's gonna do about the demonstration. So Lloyd explains that he's just gonna make his fireballs curve a bit so they barely graze the targets. Lloyd says it like it's no big deal, but Grimoire thinks that takes even more skill than just hitting them straight on. Lloyd lets them fly, barely grazing each target. The crowd's disappointed, but Grimoire realizes they should have known how damn hard it is to control magic that precisely. Lloyd don't pay them no mind. He's too busy thinking about how he can improve his technique even more. Albert seems like he might know something, but he don't say shit and just tells Lloyd he can chill while he takes a break. Lloyd couldn't be happier cause he's got a ton of things he wants to try. First on his list is giving that dual incantation Grimoire did a shot. But Grimoire freaks out and tells him it's impossible cause that's a demon skill. Being able to have extra mouths, Lloyd thinks he's got a solution though. He surprises himself when his idea actually works. But Grimoire is straight up shocked and points out that only a crazy headless would try incorporating a demon into their own body. Well, that's exactly what Lloyd did, so he tells Grimoire to cast an infernal fireball. Grimoire acts all cocky, saying it's a cakewalk for a demon of his caliber. But he freaks out when shit don't go as planned. Grimoire is terrified and wonders what the hell Lloyd did. Lloyd explains it was just a spell stack, a technique to condense incantations. By reciting multiple incantations at once, Lloyd can cast a spell way faster. 
Lloyd took that shit to the next level, casually saying he was reciting like a hundred spells in each line of the incantation. Grimoire is straight up stunned by how chill Lloyd's acting, and he points out that even as a badass demon, he can only stack two or three lines at a time. Lloyd moves on to his next test and discovers he can now talk out of both mouths. Grimoire freaks out, thinking Lloyd's about to recite two advanced spells simultaneously. But Lloyd shuts him up. A freaking huge power starts flowing through him as he uses the Infernal Fireball and Waterball spell. Grimoire's panic hits an all-time high as he realizes Lloyd's mixing two insanely advanced spells. The mana's getting crazy intense, and Lloyd's pumped as hell to see what kind of power this dual incantation brings. Lloyd figures he can't release all that power on the ground, so he just sends it skyward. Even then, it's a display of power that can be seen from miles away. In the castle, some servants wish Albert wouldn't hang out with Lloyd because they think he's just a kid who sucks at magic. Albert shuts them down, saying they're blind. He spills that Lloyd intentionally grazed all the targets the same way. So Albert calls Lloyd a freaking genius. Albert predicts Lloyd could even become the Grand Sage and hopes he'll be his ally. The servants are sure they can convince him, but Albert points out he just wants to get along with his little bro. Albert predicts Lloyd probably already knocked down all the targets, but the servants doubt his skills once again. They think the kid couldn't possibly take them down that fast, and one servant wonders why it's so damn dark outside. We find out why when Grimoire is shaking in fear after seeing Lloyd blast a hole through the atmosphere. Lloyd starts panicking cause he don't want nobody finding out, but luckily shit goes back to normal. This whole thing was freaking insane, and the terrified Grimoire once again wonders who the hell Lloyd really is. Next morning, Grimoire is fed up with doing all these maid duties for Lloyd. He calms himself down though, and reminds himself it's his job to make sure Lloyd's living clean and healthy, preparing for when he takes over his body. Later on, the tear in the sky makes it into the newspaper, but nobody knows what the hell caused it. Lloyd might have some serious ADHD cause he's already moving on. He's way more interested in a new story about badass adventurers. They conquered a crazy hard D dungeon with high difficulty, and they came back loaded with precious loot and magical shit. This sounds hella fun to Lloyd, so he decides to hit up a dungeon. Grimoire points out that if anyone finds out Lloyd's gone, it'll cause a mass freakout. But Lloyd spills that he's got a solution. Grimoire is confused as hell when Lloyd pulls out an acorn. But his confusion turns into amazement when Lloyd uses it to create a wooden copy of himself. And this ain't no basic copy, it's got nerves and shit. So it not only looks like him, but can also move on its own. But that's still not enough. Lloyd explains he would've done this shit earlier if he knew it would work. Unfortunately, the real problem is Silpha. We flash back to show how obsessed she is with Lloyd, even noticing when he grew a quarter of a millimeter taller. This dumb dance dummy he just made won't fool her, but Lloyd's got a new plan for that too. He steps outside, and we see he left Grimoire in charge of the copy while still being able to talk to him through his hand. The maids think it's the cutest thing, but Grimoire is thinking about how crazy Lloyd is. Lloyd transferred Grimoire's soul into the copy and put his soulless body into his hand, he leaves the rest to Grimoire, and Grimoire is digging how real the copy feels. But then he realizes Lloyd ain't there to stop him, and he starts getting some wicked ideas in his head. Just then, Lloyd tells him how much he loves having Grimoire as his familiar, and it brings tears to Grimoire's eyes. Lloyd's wondering if something's wrong, but Grimoire just tells him to hurry up and finish with the dungeon. Lloyd realizes he don't know where to find a dungeon, and Grimoire notices there seems to be a brawl going down nearby. Turns out, the seemingly helpless girl turns the tables on her attackers and straight up annihilates them. She shows off her insane fighting skills, and Grimoire points out she must be some kind of martial artist. Lloyd's read about the breathing technique she's using. It lets a person channel this energy called Kai into their body, giving them crazy strength. Somehow, the girl spots them, but Lloyd's cool with it because he wants to learn more about her technique. Now Lloyd's freaking out because Grimoire points out that Tao might recognize him as the seventh prince. He stays quiet, and that makes Tao think he's an enemy, so she starts coming at them. Lucky for Lloyd, he manages to change his appearance just in time and introduces himself as Alberto. Lloyd used some spell that lets him transform into someone he's seen before. He mixed his look with Albert's using a new dual incantation, creating a whole new style. The girl Tao introduces herself, and Lloyd's worried she might suspect something since she ain't turning around. Turns out Tao's actually panicking cause she thinks Alberto is very hot. 
Tao spent her whole damn 18 years training. She finally escaped the dojo and became an adventurer looking for romance. But damn, it ain't worked out because most dudes prefer weak ass priestesses. But now she's finally got her chance and vows to make Alberto her boyfriend. She seems busy as hell. So Lloyd decides not to ask her to clear a dungeon with him. But she's all over that opportunity. Once they're in the dungeon, Tao's all eager to show off her fighting skills. But our boy Lloyd's too busy obsessing about some glowing rocks. Tao's impressed by how much Lloyd knows about her breathing technique. And she explains that learning about Kai starts and ends with breathing. Proper breathing fills your whole damn body with Kai, letting you unleash superhuman strength. Problem is, it takes a ton of training just to start feeling the Kai in your body. That's why Tao suggests Alberto focuses on finding the key to her heart instead. But Lloyd straight up ignores that cheesy joke and shocks Tao when he pulls off the breathing technique. He explains he just copied her, but she warns him that if he ain't used to it, his lungs will feel like they're on fire. But Lloyd's still as crazy as ever and keeps doing the technique. He surprises himself when he starts feeling that energy inside him and gets all pumped cause he realizes he can use that power for sorcery. Tao decides she'll help him learn about Kai and tells him not to stop the breathing technique till they leave the dungeon. Back at home, Grimoire thinks Lloyd's insane cause he's got such a cushy life. But Lloyd don't give a damn. All he cares about is learning more about sorcery. Things are going smooth for Grimoire, but he flips out when Sylpha shows up. Meanwhile in the dungeon, Tao shows Alberto a Kai blast and uses it to take down the boss. They score a chest. But Tao explains that a dungeon that ain't grown much ain't gonna have any good loot. As they check out the chest, Tao's amazed to see Alberto's already learned the Kai breathing technique in such a short time. Tao realizes she hit the jackpot cause if she can get Alberto into a student teacher thing, her caretaker won't have no choice but to accept him as her fiancé. Tao goes to open the chest, but Lloyd's gotta save her cause she triggers a deadly trap. A lich pops out of the chest, and Lloyd wonders if this is the real boss of the dungeon. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to not miss the next part.